Are you ready for pain? Are you ready for suffering? If the answer is yes, then you're ready. So imagine my surprise. I'm just scrolling through my For You page as one does, and this is what I see. So I'm a trans woman. I don't have a uterus, therefore I don't have a period. So trans girls, repeat with me. I am a trans woman. I don't have a uterus, therefore I don't have a period. I just watched the whole video about this girl going off on this other girl, the trans girl, for saying that trans women don't have a period, which is true. And she said it as if it was fact, which has caused negativity to spew from what she said. People will take one trans woman and like to use white trans women because white trans women love to speak about things. Yeah, no, not everything is about race. Although I do understand that we go through hormonal changes, that doesn't mean we have a period. Let's stop this bullshit, okay? Rule number one, if it's about me, at me so I can see it. <laughs> so I can see it. Like, TikTok is petty. TikTok is messy. But, you know, t you know, TBH, when I make a video about somebody, when I'm calling someone out, I tag them. And the fact that Beloved didn't tag me, it's giving cowardly. But more than that, you know, people seem to have found the the sauce. You know, say what the majority of cishet wants you to say and you get clout. You know, the comments. Let's go look at some of her comments real quick. So first comment's like, see, I, I like you. You keeping it real. And then this person was like, they're trying to change the societal norm of what a period is. They're erasing the uterus part of a period to include them having periods themselves. Girl, the way I got into an argument with another transcript because of this, girl, he's confusing HRT side effects with periods. Girl, oh, and she said, girl, they tripping. Oh, we tripping, y'all. We tripping. Girl, like, let's, let's really get into it. Here's the thing. We understand what the patriarchy is, right? They created the patriarchy, you know, to put men in boxes and to put women in boxes. But the patriarchy is inherently misogynistic because women get treat, treated like shit historically, right? And it's, in, it's inherently transphobic. So the reason why period is so synonymous with bleeding is because they wanted to exclude trans people and non-binary people. Cis women are not the only ones that experience periods end of the day whether it's hormones whether it's your body producing hormones whether you are a cis woman and have to take hormones that hormonal period is valid not everybody bleeds and i don't understand why wouldn't you want to be inclusive why are you trying to gatekeep and it's because most cis women feel like their reproduction is the only thing they can offer they're a female that's all they have and that's kind of sad that you broil yourself down to your fucking body parts hello we get our hormonal cycle once a month. If we want to call it a fucking period, we're going to do that. You're just a pick me, trying to collect your bag, act a fool, but it's going to be expanded just like a lot of things in a society. And if you don't like it, you can go over there with the Republicans and your little cishet people. Hello? I have a feeling I'm going to get this comment all day. Um, luckily, so far, it's come from two people who I'm mutuals with. So I want to help you make this make sense. The reason why this is a black community conversation is not because of the fact that it happened at the Oscars, not because of the fact that uh, a, a person defended their partner. It's not about those things in the least bit. It's simply about the fact that within our community, especially black men have a habit of tearing down black women for their own gain, even if it's just for comedic purposes. There are too many things in our community that people don't find funny. Chris Rock is well aware of that. This isn't about gatekeeping in the least bit. This is a very specific scenario between three black people that happened last night that white people do not have the experience or perspective to speak on. This is a problem that has to get solved amongst ourselves and white people can't do that.
been going insane right now. So I saw that and I was like, yep, that happens because I know it happens. In high school, I contributed to the issue by not speaking out for the longest time against the men that spoke like that. I see it in public transport every day. I see it in public arenas every day. And so on the scale of microaggression all the way up to actual femicide that's happening currently in South Africa, when do we as men take into account the fact that all of these are valid, all of these are equally evil? and actually take a stand against it. And instead of saying, not me, it's not me, not all men, not all men, you're contributing to the issue by not, by saying that you're contributing to the issue, by minimizing the intensity of the situation, by saying, oh, not me, not me. We are the issue. It's time for us to actually take change and actually do change so that we can make a world better for the future. thing a man has ever mansplained to you. So I play Overwatch quite a lot and my boyfriend he likes to play PC more so at the minute so he, he doesn't play Overwatch much on the Xbox and he likes to uh, try to tell me how to play it. Like I've, I've got a lot of hours like my mouse played character has over 100 hours so and when he tries explaining something to me it's just I know what I'm doing. You're telling me things I already know. Stop. <laughs> and then I'll say something and he'll, he'll tell me the thing back. I'm like, I just said that. Do you not understand what I'm talking about? If you've ever wondered what it's like to be a state level teacher of the year, here it is. And of course, this varies by state and by what you do with the position, but for me, here it is. I'm currently waiting to testify in front of the Senate in my state over a bill that would um, restrict transgender athletes to competing on the team that aligns with their biological sex. After that, this afternoon, I am co-facilitating a workshop on classroom strategies for supporting LGBTQ plus students. And this evening, I'm sitting on a panel on the experience of queer people in education. And of course, all of this starts after I spent the morning teaching my ninth graders. It's a good gig, and I'm really happy that I got it, and I love that I get to make so much change, but it is also exhausting. Hey, cool. Guess what? But me all pronouns are very valid. And if you disagree, you can unfollow. Paul Gales. I'm just saying, if one troll using a cab, a cab self as fake pronouns, uh is all it took for you to stop supporting neo-pronouns, then you never actually supported neo-pronouns. You just wanted to look good. This is my part, nobody. This is my part, nobody. Okay, so boom. Can we stop praising straight cis men for doing things that marginalized group of people have been doing forever? Like, I'm confused. Are we just, like, super into toxic masculinity and we're like, okay, so now men can wear eyeliner? Because I'm really confused. I don't get it. I The fact of the matter is, people like me get persecuted, attacked, spat at. I've never been spat at, but I dare you. Spit on me, bitch. Oh. But we get attacked all the time and laughed at for being who we are and for breaking societal norm. We bring these ideas to the table so that straight, cis men and women can then steal it. Period. She called me daddy, I don't even know her mama. She gon' do it for some Dolce Gabbana. Louis, Gucci, Fendi, Prada. This eye with no strings attached like Melissa. It's 20 on 20, my vision. Bad yellow bitch with an eye on a price, but nigga, I ain't no man yet. When you aren't necessarily gonna put in your bio on canvas that you're queer but you still want all your kids to know you're queer you make all of your canvas class tiles a rainbow so it's my first day at my new job today and i feel like i found the aesthetic that says you can trust me with your kids but i'm absolutely queer and you should not question that in the slightest who knows we'll see ha, how you like that
for coming hardly, to my TED Talk. We're very misinformed. Weed and marijuana are two completely separate things. One is a plant and one is a weed. Okay? I hope that helps clear things up.